Hey, hello friends. Today we are going to talk about what is startup. Firstly, I would like to say to you it's a blog and if you would like to read it, I will share with you the link and you can easily read it. And there is also another thing. We have an Instagram account, so if you would like to follow it, I will share with you the link again and you can follow it. So, let's go. What is startup? A startup is the first stage of companies. So we can associate the term with a baby who is eager to grow fast. Startup companies focus on meeting society's needs and solving the problem. Founders and entrepreneurs come up with an idea that they believe the idea solves society problems and meet their needs. Startup companies are fast by nature. From the moment the idea is put into practice, the company is expected to grow in a short term. For instance, in 2016, startups in the United States grew, grew by 75% on average. Startup companies are innovation centers of countries. Founders start with ideas that will add value to society or find solutions to society's problems. They also support these products with new technologies. Generally, companies often start with limited resources. They go on investment tours and try to get certain amounts of funding and investment from angel investors. Startup features. If you work in a startup company, you are less likely to say you don't know. Due to limited resources, everyone tries to do everything or try to learn. Startup companies have high growth rates. They can rapidly expand their operation. They use technology and adapt quickly to change. Innovation. Startups focus on developing innovative ideas, products, or services. They aim to disrupt existing markets or create entirely new ones. The risk is very high due to entering a new market. In addition, due to the rapid development and change of technology, the uncertainty increases and the risk increases even more. Startups have the ability to adapt quickly to changing and market conditions. Flexibility, agility, and continuous learning increase their ch chances of success. So, what is the startup pros and cons? Advantages, innovation. Startup companies are the place of innovation. It enables countries and humanity to develop. Growth potential. Startups have significant growth potential. With the right idea, business model, and execution, they can rapidly scale their operation and achieve substantial success. Agility. Startups are often nimble and can adapt quickly to market changes and customer feedback. They can pivot their strategies and make decisions swiftly, which gives them a competitive edge. What is the disadvantages? Risk of failure. New ideas, new products may not always be demanded by the customer, so there is a high risk of failure. Uncertainty. Startups operate in an environment of uncertainty with risk and challenges at every stage. There is no guarantee of success and failure rates can be high. Limited resources. Startups typically have limited resources in terms of funding or employees. And it's a huge barrier to enter a new market, to be honest, for startups. High pressure and workload. Startups often operate in a fast-paced, high-pressure environment. Founders and team members may face long hours, multiple roles, and constant demands, which can lead to burnout. Now, I will try to give some startups companies example. And firstly, it is Insider. Insider is a global startup that specializes in personalized marketing and customer en engagement. It provides AI-powered tools and solutions for e-commerce businesses. 
get here i think you know like probably you know because it's a very popular and famous getter is a turkish startup company founded in 2015 by nazim salur getter offers very fast delivery for grocery item and foods and orders are making via application on mobile phone xiaomi is a chinese tech startup that has become one of the world's leading smartphone manufacturers it also offers a wide range of cons consumer electronism, including smart home devices, wearable and lifestyle products. Airbnb. Airbnb is a well-known global startup that operates an online marketplace for lodging and tourism experiences. It allows individuals to rent out their properties or book accommodations worldwide offering an alternative to traditional hotels so thank you for listening i hope you got some idea and new information and if you have something to add you can write me and we on instagram we have an instagram account as i said so goodbye have a good day